Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this educational segment presented by Buying Behavior Metrics. I'm your host, Martin Smith, author of The New Exhibitor and The New Lean Six Sigma Orange Belt for Exhibitors. These and other exhibiting tools are available on our website at bbmgo.com. Please go to the site and make use of the tools. You will find them to be extremely valuable in implementing and improving your exhibiting and event purchase experience. Exhibitors often ask me what they should be doing in the preference building phase of the purchase experience process at an event. I want to use this video clip to highlight some activities and things to look for that are most effective in creating a positive impression of your company and its offering, which drives attendees and consumers toward conversion and ultimately moves sales higher and maximizes ROI. As the clip begins, the staff person has identified a potential target attendee and interacts with the attendee in order to qualify him prior to engaging in the demonstration. During this process, he allows the attendee to engage freely with the product and kick the tires, so to speak. The staff person also interacts directly with the sacrificial shopper, which is vital to the purchase experience because the sacrificial shopper is the one who will determine how long the interaction lasts. I have increased the speed of the video in order to get to the hands-on demonstration. Notice that as they move into position, the staff members work together to scan the attendee. This action could have waited until after the demonstration, at which time it would have been used as a conversion mechanism. This would move the attendee forward in the purchase experience process. But they seem to be comfortable with this activity, so it works for them and for that reason I'd let it go. Also notice that they again involve the sacrificial shopper and they get the attendees to freely engage, which reveals how easy the product is to use and the benefits resulting from it. The staff person does a nice job of verifying the points of the demonstration and you can see the attendee respond with affirmative body language gestures such as head bobs. Having completed several cycles of the product demonstration, it's clear from the frequent body language touches to the product, as well as the dwell time with this exhibitor, that the attendee is interested and ready to move to the conversion phase. This is the point where the badge swipe should have happened since this action would have created an unwritten contract to move forward to conversion and even sales activity. Instead, an awkward fumbling takes place because the attendee isn't given a mechanism to acquire the product, which is counterproductive to the purchase experience. Eventually, the attendee settles for some literature and the staff thanks them, which ends this interaction. So at the end of the day, the key takeaways are that it is vital to get the attendees or consumers to engage hands-on with the product as they move from consideration to preference. However, once they are at the preference stage, mechanisms should be provided to allow them to convert to loyal advocates and even buyers. In conclusion, allow me to thank you for your time in reviewing this material and for your interest in buying behavior metrics. It is our sincere desire to provide valuable offerings to help exhibitors create worthwhile purchase experiences and ultimately maximize their ROI. Please go to our website and explore all the online tools available at bbmgo.com. Thank you.